This is all sealed. Oh, and then here, you guys see that? The Vano seals also. So in this video, we're gonna be replacing our Vano seals and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. If you watched the last video, we, we diagnosed how we found out that these seals were bad using a smoke test. So before we dive into that, I wanna explain what exactly is going on here and what the Vano system does. So the Vano system is BMW's variable valve timing system used on many of the BMW engines. And what it does is it sends oil pressure up through these solenoids that then can uh, advance or retard the timing on the intake and exhaust side, well, if they have Vanos. And what that allows you to do is at the lower RPM, it gives you more torque, it improves fuel economy, but also at the higher end, it opens the valves longer, thus giving you more power. And this is all done by alternating oil pressure in this Vanos system. So when you get a Vanos code, what you should check for is one of a few things. It could be that you're, well, you guys can't really see this. So you guys can't really see this here. So let's go over over here to my other engine. And I'll explain it a bit better. So actually, I'm in the middle of tearing apart my old engine here. Uh, it was burning oil at one liter per 300 kilometers, which is insane. So if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button and uh, when that and you'll be notified when that video comes out soon. We're midway through it all. Okay, let's go back to Vanos. So this is how your Vanos system works. This is a Vanos solenoid. As you can see, there are a bunch of little holes in here. This goes into this little area here, which in turn goes into that cylinder head. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little hole in there. And what that does is, is it pumps, it's pumping fuel pressure up into the head here. And this solenoid, which is electronically actuated, either opens and closes this valve that's inside of here, and it redirects the flow of the oil into the cam gears here. As you can see, there's some little holes there, a little bit of oil, and here it'll redirect the flow into that hole, which goes into the exhaust camshaft and into the cam gear, and that's all removed. So maybe we'll use this side as an example. So then this is our cam gear. And if you look in the back of the cam gear, this is spring loaded. Do you see there's a little spring in there? And the oil pressure goes into here and it will in here advance or retard the timing on this gear. And as you can see, there's this, there's this front part on the gear. This is what picks up. This little part is what sends the signal, which is right, the sensor for the signal is right here that picks up the where, at what position the camshaft will be. So it can advance it or retard it as it needed be. All by using oil pressure, by opening and closing this little solenoid. So th that's the short answer. I hope that makes sense. Now, where things go wrong. Number one, this can leak oil. So we don't want this to be leaking any oil. Uh, if it does leak oil, it can throw a Vanos code saying, you know, this isn't working properly, there's not enough pressure. Uh, number two, this solenoid can fail completely, it just won't work at all. And what you can do is actually hook up some alligator clips to the two, two pins on this solenoid and hook it up to a battery, like a nine volt battery, and you'll hear this click. If it's clicking, that means it's working. If it's not clicking, that means it's dead and you'll have to replace these. If you're troubleshooting your Vanos and it's throwing you a code, what you can do is take this and swap it out, swap them one for another. Uh, one's for intake, one's for exhaust. And if it throws a different code saying like, oh, now it's on the exhaust side or it's on the intake side, you know that that one is bad and you should just replace that one. So we've had a bunch of codes over the years. Normally it doesn't deal with the cam gear and the timing chain and all that stuff, luckily. That creates, that's a bigger problem if that's the case. It normally revolves around the seals on this or the solenoid going bad. Um, you could have really sludged up engine. As you can see here, there's a lot of sludge on this area of the, it's almost like a paint. Um, this was all going into this intake bearing ledge. 
So you do want to change your oil more often so that it doesn't get sludged up. These are sensitive components that need to be maintained properly. You can also, if you've, if you've had debris go through your engine, you can also check the little filters that are back here, those two little holes. Uh, they're not bolts, they're just these little filters. If you unscrew them, you'll be able to clean off the filter to clean out this area because it does get gunked up from time to time. And then uh, that can be one way to make sure that your Vano system is functioning properly. If I've forgotten anything, put it down in the comments. Now let's get to showing you guys how to remove these. Um, it's super easy, but I'm gonna go do that on my car right now because I have to replace the seals, which are stuck in here like that. Much, much, much later. All right, so it's the next couple days later. We have our Vano seals here from BMW. Uh, you'll have to go on to realoem.com and double check which Vano seals you need for your car. This is for an M52 B25, uh, but it comes with two pieces. This is a little plastic stepper. I don't know, it kind of puts the seal further into the engine there. And then this is what actually seals the Vano solenoid against the block. And this is much, this is still pretty hard. Hmm. But let's take a look here and replace these. These are quite, let me try and get in here. See if I can show you. They are quite sweaty, which tells me that they're probably leaking a little bit. And if you follow the, and if you follow the plastic hose here that covers the wires, you'll see that it kind of is leaking down there underneath the car. So we're just gonna replace these and hope this fixes our oil leak. Um, Cause I don't see any other oil leaks. So what you need is a 10 millimeter socket. I'll just unplug these. You unplug these by pushing in on this little metal springy bit. It comes off. You may need, to, you may need two hands for this. Uh, but then we're gonna unscrew this bolt and these will pop out. So. The Vano seals just twist out like that. There's one, and there's two. All right, so here are our Vano solenoids. A lot of oil on there. Oil still looks pretty good, nice and clean. Um, we're going to now take off these seals here. There's one of them. And it is pretty, the seal is pretty tough. Yeah. So let's grab one of these and see the difference. So one of the reasons why these start leaking is because the seals get way too tough. And then they don't seal properly. Oh yeah. I mean, this one still feels okay, but it's just hard. This one bounces back right away. And this one does not. So the next part of this is this metal kind of, not this metal, this plastic step up. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a, it's a spacer. Don't see really any difference between these. I don't even know if there's, do these go on a specific way? Is this supposed to sit somehow? I don't think so. So I'm just gonna clean this up. You can use some brake clean too you want but I did this a while ago to mine I'm gonna put this on this is the new one I don't think it goes on any which way and I think I'm gonna bend this tab back a little bit maybe that's one of the reasons why it's been leaking because it can't fully seat holy moly this thing is tough I'll put this in a vise no maybe not I'm not gonna touch it but if it keeps leaking, maybe I'm gonna play with this, put this in a vise and like bend it a little bit so that really seats well. We're gonna put it on like that. And I'm gonna put a little bit of oil 
just on the seal itself. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but we're gonna put this back in. Here's the new piece. And here is the new seal. All right, it's all back together. Now let's put these back in the car. So it doesn't really matter which one goes where. They're both the same. Oh yeah. Now this is like so much harder to put in with the new seals. That's interesting. Interesting. There we go. You really got to push it. There we go. So maybe that was the the oil leak cuz those were a little hard to tight to get in there. So now the screws back in I'm gonna clean up the bottom oil all the oil off the bottom of the engine and we're gonna keep driving this car and see if this is what fixes our issue which I hope it does because I'm sick of these oil leaks all right the Vanos are all back together hopefully these new seals work good i'm done my part for today so let's see if this actually fixes our oil leak and fixes our oil consumption issues because because maybe all this time i thought it was consuming oil but maybe it was just leaking oil and yeah well we'll find out what the real consumption oil consumption values are now that all the oil leaks are should be fixed these bmws man they just, they just leak, they consume. Fun to drive, great cars, terrible, awesome, terrible engine, whatever you wanna call it here. All right, let's just put this all away. I gotta work on something. Let's see if this fixes our issue.